video we're going to look at scientific notation. So most numbers that we're used to seeing are in standard notation, which looks something like this. Um, and if I sometimes have a really large number, or even a really small number, um, that have a lot of these insignificant zeros in them, it's helpful to condense them into what we call scientific notation. So this number, 123 million, can be written in scientific notation like this. So essentially, how do I get this and what do these numbers mean? So this number in front we call a coefficient, and it should be a number between 1 and 9.999, so a number less than 10. Um, and this number here is an exponent, and it basically tells you the number of places that the decimal had to be moved in the original number to create this coefficient that's between 1 and less than 10. Um, so if I look at this number here, okay, the decimal, if there is no decimal, it um, would have been at the end of the number. This is a number much, much larger than 1. Um, and if I think about trying to move this decimal until I get a number that's between 1 and 9.999, I'd have to move this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, that would be 12.3, keep going, it's, that was bigger than 10, um, 8 places. So to create this coefficient, I had to move the decimal 8 places, and that's why 10 has this exponent of 8. So I always have this coefficient times 10 to an exponent. This exponent is always going to be a positive number if the decimal was moved to the left when creating this coefficient. Or essentially, how I like to think of it, is it's going to be a positive number if you started with a very big number. So anything with a positive exponent represents a really, really large number, something larger than 1. This is representing, notice, 123 million. Um, you're going to have a negative exponent if the decimal was moved to the right to create this coefficient. Or essentially, again, how I like to think of it is if you have a negative exponent, this is representing a number that is much less than 1, a small number. Okay? In scientific notation, all significant figures are kept in the coefficient. Okay, so this has one, two, three significant figures. Something like this, 9.000, the reason why those zeros are there are, is because they are significant. This has four significant figures. So if you're ever asked about significant figures and you're looking at a number in scientific notation, you just have to look at the coefficient. Let's take a moment to practice going between standard notation, which you see on the left, and scientific notation. So this is a number in, in standard notation, we call it. We want to move this decimal to create a number between 1 and 9.99. So we can move it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 places to create 6.89. That would be my coefficient. And I would write times 10 to the negative 5. Um, if you have a very small number, less than 1 to start with, you're going to have a negative exponent. It means you had to move the decimal to the right to create this number. Okay. Let's look at this. Let's predict, is my exponent going to be positive or negative? It's going to be negative because this is a number less than 1. However many places I have to move that decimal would be the exponent and it would be negative. So I have to move this 1, 2, 3 places to create 2.03, keep all the significant figures in the coefficient, times 10 to the negative 3. This is a number larger than 1, so I expect the exponent to be positive. And there's no decimal here, so we'll put it at the end, and we'll keep moving it till we get a number between 1 and 9.99. 1, 2, 3, 4 to create 7.8964. Keep all those numbers because they're all significant. They're all non-zeros. Times 10 to the positive 4. Okay, so notice these numbers less than 1 are having negative exponents. These numbers greater than 1 are going to have um, positive exponent. So this will have a positive exponent. Let's figure out what this will be in scientific notation. Put um, a decimal at the end and we'll move it until we get a number between 1 and 9.99. So this would be 70 moving it here. This would be 7 moving it there. Okay, 7 times 10, 2, and I moved it two places. Positive because it's a number larger than 1. Um, I'm not going to put those zeros at the end because they're insignificant. There was no decimal place there. But if there was a decimal, this was like 700.0 or 700 point with just a decimal there, then I would keep those zeros in my coefficient. But I don't want to put anything that's insignificant in my coefficient. 
Okay, this number is small number. I'm going to assume I'm going to know that my exponent is going to be negative. I'm going to move this one, two, three places to create a number between one and nine point nine nine. So I get nine point, and I do want to keep those zeros this time because they are significant. Nine point zero zero times ten to the negative three because I moved it three places to create this coefficient. Let's try going the reverse way. So here are some scientific notation numbers, and let's put them into standard. So again, if you remember, the negative exponent means I am creating a number that's smaller than 1. So when I move this decimal place, I'm going to move it 5 places, I want to move it in the direction that will create a smaller number. So let's move it to the left, okay? So I want to move it 1, so I'm going to do it over here where I have more room. Okay, 1, 2, anytime I move it and there's nothing there, put a 0, 3, 4, 5. So I get point zero 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 five two two. If you want to put a leading zero, feel free to do that as well. Okay. Notice negative exponent, number smaller than one. Let's look at this example. Okay, negative exponent, this is a number smaller than one. When I move this decimal to create um, my standard number, um, let's move it to the left. So this way, this creates a number smaller than one. So I move it one place. Okay, when I move it again and there's nothing there, we put a zero there. And we'll put another zero there. That's three places. And if you want to put a leading zero, feel free. Look at this number. This is a positive exponent. This is going to create a number larger than 1. So when we move this decimal, we're going to move it four places, this time to the right. Okay, put it over here. Uh, 1, and again, if I move it somewhere where there's no nothing there anymore, put in a 0, 2, 3, 4. This is 46,000. Feel free to put a comma if you want or not. Okay, and last, uh, one more example here. Okay, 4.00 times 10 to the 2. Okay, this is a number larger than 1. We're going to move this decimal two places to the right. Okay, here it is here. 1, whoops, sorry about that. 1, 2, okay. Um, so this is 400.0, and that other 0 is still there because it's significant. It would stayed in this coefficient because it was a significant um, figure and it's still there in standard notation that significant zero and let's let's do one more okay this is a number smaller than one um, a negative number so this is going to create a number smaller than one so let's move the uh, the decimal to the left okay one two three okay if you want to put a leading zero feel free make sure these zeros are kept that's why they were kept in the coefficient because they were they were significant and they are still significant in standard notation as well Okay, so note, just make sure you maintain the significant figures. Make sure when transitioning from standard notation to scientific notation that you keep only and all significant figures in your coefficient. So if you have something like this, this has decimal points present, you start from the left-hand side. Okay, here's my first non-zero, that and everything after significant. There's three sig figs. I want to make sure that I have three sig figs in my scientific notation as well. Those zeros that were significant are still there um, in my scientific notation. Okay, and the same thing in reverse. When you're transitioning out of scientific into standard, keep all significant zeros. These zeros are significant. There's um, three sig figs here. When I move that decimal out, okay, these zeros are insignificant. That's why they were grouped in that 10 to the negative 3. Um, and these zeros are still significant. Decimal point present, start from the 6, and those three things are significant. So you should just feel comfortable at this point going between scientific and standard notation in either direction and just making sure that you keep the significant figures in your uh, number.